Alrighty, you guys. Um, this video is going to be about how I almost got scammed out of my PayPal. <coughs> well, I can't say for sure it was a scam. I think it was a scam. So, before we get into this, I'm still sitting in the blue car because the blue car is still sitting here. Just got back from driving it. It drives really great. Um, no issues. i um, been driving it off and on for two weeks now. I drive it pretty much every day, you know, around town and I'm back. All right, let's get into today's story. So, I sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace, as I'm sure most of you do. Um, a lot of my stuff is car related. I do sell some other stuff on there. But most of it's car parts. It's shit that either has came with cars over the years that I don't use or um, parts that I bought because I can make money off of them. Because if you can get something, like right now, I have a set of 22s I'm trying to sell. And I got a really good deal on these rims. Really good deal. Screaming deal. They were probably not even a mile from my house. Picked them up for a good deal and I'm selling them right now. So that was that's something you should do. If you can get something for a deal and you know that they're worth more than what they're they're wanting, then you should give them what they want and uh sell them for a profit. Now this story is about a pickup to a Jegs pickup tube and 440 push rods. Now they both are big block stuff, 440 Mopar. Jags pickup tube that I bought for the 400, thinking it would work in the truck pan, which it wouldn't. It's for a car car pan. The others are uh, push rods, 440 comp cams, push rods. Now those push rods came with a cam kit, my elder brought cam kit that I paid a hundred dollars for. Um, this was cam springs. It came with lifters, but the gentleman didn't keep them in order. So we have to buy lifters now. But you, I paid 100 bucks for the cam, the timing chain, double roller timing chain, uh, lifters, springs, these push rods, and it came with a couple of just odds and ends stuff that really didn't go to a cam kit. So I don't have a 440. I don't know when I'm gonna ever going to have a 440. Big block Mopar. I could use the money. Excuse me. I could use the money. More than I could use the parts right now. So I paid 100 bucks for, like I said, everything that came in with the cam. And I paid $30, $40, no, 41 some, 40 something dollars for this Jegs pickup tube. It's brand new, never been in an engine before at all. It was brand new. So, sorry, some assholes coming down the road. It's never been an engine. I paid $40 for it. So, the push rods, they're, I think, like 40 or 50 bucks for the push rods themselves are new. These ones don't have a shit ton of miles on them. This guy put this cam and everything in his 440, I'm assuming, by the push rods, and then went to a bigger setup. Therefore, he did away with all the stuff. I got the stuff for a screaming deal. 100 bucks. Now the cam, as you guys have know, if you guys watched our 400 videos up to this point where I'm waiting on to get a mile on pickup tube, um, I spent 100 bucks on this kit, and this kit is not nothing. It's not gonna like have a chug to it. It's just an RV cam. But the goal is to build it on a budget, this whole truck on a budget, and then put a bigger cam in it and take all that stuff. So I have these listed for sale for 75 bucks. This gentleman, I'll try to put his stuff right here, messages me and asks if it's still available, which I hate. If you're going to message somebody, don't ask is it available. That's just because too many people accidentally click that and we don't know if you're serious or not. You can ask if it's available, but don't just as is it available. Ask uh, like what is your bottom dollar or something at the end of that so we know you're serious. So, sorry, buddy was pulling in his driveway. Uh, so, the guy messaged me. We go back and forth. I get shipping information. All this stuff. Yes, if I accept PayPal, I say yes. Because I do. I accept PayPal. I also ship things. Because that's how you make money. You just try and sell locally. 
and just the people here you're not really gonna you're gonna have business but it's gonna take you a while to move stuff so i like shipping things and stuff like that long story short says that he i'm on my way to my girlfriend's house i get a text she lives in Jessica. i probably left around six or so get to her house and i hear and i get a message that says hey let me know when you're when you're back online because paypal needs a verification code now, I've been dealing with PayPal for years, for years, and never had anything like this. Usually, you type in an email or their little code. At first, he asked for my email, which is kind of odd because I gave him my handle, my little handle that you search for PayPal. But sometimes you do need an email to look people up, I guess. I don't know. Give him my email. So, he then says, let me know when you're back online. And I'll resend it because it needs a verification code. Because I have a business account. He has a business account. That's why it needs a verification code to send the money. Right then, I got a little, little knot in my stomach and something told me this ain't right. But I get to my girlfriend's house. I'm sitting in my truck and I text him back. It's like, okay, I'm back online. What do you need? And he sends, he goes, they're going to send a code to your number, blah, 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 ending in such 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 my phone number i was like well i never gave you my phone number how could you send me a code? he tried saying that uh paypal yeah. has my number and that's why they sent it but i've only had these codes number. sent to me when i was and trying to reset my password my phone and it says right there do not share so i was like wait why do you need this code well i need this code to send you money no he didn't this is a code to basically change your password for paypal so i'm not gonna put the guy's name i'm gonna try to blur out his whatever this may be legitimate i don't think it is though because i've never had to send a verification code and his excuse was i have a business account so that's why i need this code your code keep my my code to send me money so and it says when people send you the code it says do not share at the bottom of this so when paypal said that when they said that in the text, do not share. It's like, yeah, this ain't all right. Nope. And as you guys can read, I told him basically, no thanks, because I didn't get a good feeling about it. And that's one of the things. If you're going to be in, in the car mechanic business or working on cars or dealing with people at all, and you get the feeling like something ain't right, something's odd, and something's off, then step away from the situation, get away from it, because chances are it's going to be bad for one of you. So... And keep in mind, I don't have any money in my PayPal right now. It's probably got a zero balance. But if you were, like, actually selling, selling, instead of just every once in a while selling something, if you were selling shit every day, making money, and somebody like has gotten to your PayPal account, that could just, they could take all the money they want and ruin your PayPal. Not to mention your PayPal usually has your social security number attached to it, so then they could steal your identity if they wanted. It's a nightmare. It's happening more and more on here. I've been watching a guy on uh, here on YouTube called Craigslist Hunter. You guys go check him out. He's a really cool guy. Um, Crystal Lake, Illinois. He's on here on YouTube. He runs a little, like, a odds and ends shop. Kind of like a, he buys stuff. Kind of like Pawn Stars, except he don't own a pawn shop. Um, and he's always dealing with scammers. And it's just, it's nuts. Or, <laughs> I'm going to get on another rant. Or you get, <clears throat> sorry guys. Or you get people that either don't read the item description at all, or they ask you stupid questions. And stupid questions. I hate stupid questions. Like, it's okay to ask questions, but if you, let's say, I'm trying to sell tires right now too. I got tires for sale. Like brand new tires. And I list the size. Size of the tires. If I have tires listed, or you have tires listed, and you put tire size, like the, the tire size is on the tire. And look at you go, well, this fit my 2006 Mustang. How the fuck am I supposed to know that? You have the car, read the tire size. If the tire size is matched, they'll fit. Like, that's st stupid. Um, another instance that I've had to deal with so far this week is I have a manual string box. A Saginaw manual string box that came off a Dodge truck. Keep in mind, manual. Good detailed pictures, I mean everything. 
Gentlemen, you ask me, is this available? Okay, yes, it's available. It's still up, ain't it? Because that's another thing. And we'll get back to that story here in a minute. Another thing, if you have shit listed for sale and you sell them, delete your for sale ads. Nothing is worse as me as a buyer than to text you and it to be sold and you just left it up because you're too lazy to go delete it. But this man texted me and he goes, is it still available? Yes, still available. Um, anything wrong with it? No, it's good. I pulled it off because I went to power string. Red truck out back, it's going to have power string. I don't need that box. Oh, it's not power string? I thought it was a power string box. Ugh. Just, it even says manual steering box. So, I had to go back and revise the ad. There are no places for lines in this box. This box is a manual box. Let's see here. What else have I had to deal with? Oh, I have a couple. I have a slant six here that if everything works out, will be for sale. So, this guy's a friend of mine. The guy that was talking to me about it the other day. And I told him I had a slant six that might be for sale here soon. Because I'm going to put... Never mind. We're getting that, that video will be released hopefully, hopefully, this weekend. When this car that I'm sitting in goes bye-bye. And I get the title, a good, clean and clear title for the black car out back. Then there'll be a video released on what the black car, black 63 value is going to be for. Don't want to release that just in case there's an issue with the title or something. I just don't want to do that yet, just in case. So, anyways, he's got a, I forgot what it is. It's a Dodge truck of some kind, but it's a big truck. I think it's a Dolly or Dump, I, I can't remember. And he goes, is it a good running engine? Well, no, it's not. Hence... Well, I only want 150 bucks for it, the engine. Typically, these good and 150 bucks, you're not gonna get your 150 bucks. Chances are you're gonna get 100 bucks. So, but it comes with a shit ton of parts. This is this engine note. So I told him, keep in mind, the engine's still sitting here. I, I I can't sell it until I can't sell anything or even buy parts for this black car until this car goes bye bye. I have the title in my hand and everything's okay. Just in case the title don't check out and the car has to go back to him, he can get all his parts with the car. But he goes, the good running engine? No, not for 100 bucks. it's not. So, my point is, be careful. There's tons of scammers. Everybody's trying to scam you out of shit. Everybody wants the best deal they can get, but they don't want to pay a lot for that best deal. You know what I mean? They want a good, let's say, you have, you have a 400 big block and it's a good running engine. You would post that for sale and I guarantee you get posted for eight. People are like, oh, I'll bring you two. Well, I posted for eight. What makes you think I'm going to take two? Like a good friend of mine, he uh, sold one of his four wheelers a couple months back and he had it for two grand and it was a YZF 450. It, it needed some work and that's why he went and bought his other one. He's got now. But this one needs some work. Yeah, for two grand, a dude was like, well, would you take this, this, and this for it? Or try to trade him a bunch of junk for it? No. It, the price is the price. So if you deal with people, you sell shit. Marketplace, eBay, wherever. Especially Marketplace, because eBay, it's pretty much you got to, you know, agree to the price. Because if you have an auction, you can set a reserve. You can get what you want out of things. On, on Facebook... What I do, and I would suggest this to you guys, stress before they come to look at it so they don't waste their time, you don't waste your time, this is the price. This is what I want before you get here. Like, for instance, the tires I have to sell, 100 bucks, that's my bottom dollar, come get them or don't. And then that way they don't come and be like, well look, because I, I had to do it a while back, and I, was, I sold them an engine, I was gonna sell them an engine. He's like, well, I only got $200. I was like, well, it looks like you don't have a whatever the fuck engine. I can't remember what the engine was. And then he's like, he's like, well, what's the best you could do? And I told him. And he gets down here. And he's like, do you mind you're supposed to give me what I wanted? And he goes, oh, well, you took 150 bucks. I really don't want to pay that. No. You can go back home empty-handed. 
And I believe I looked at him and he got shitty about it because I looked at him and said, well, it looks like you don't have an engine then. you got to understand, like, there's tons of people all the time on here bitching and complaining about how people on Facebook are dicks. Well, you got to understand why people are dicks. If you have a bunch of idiots texting you that, that don't either read the description or don't know anything about what they're trying to buy, wanting you to tell them that if their tires will fit their car without seeing their car, or the tire says on their tires, you understand. Point is with that, I almost got took for a loop, a scam. And people sometimes just don't use their head. And I have been one of the people before. I, and as always, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Sorry for the rant video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to post all these little things. And if I didn't almost get scammed, let me know in the comments if this is how a business account works. I don't know. I have a personal PayPal. Let me know if there is a code that I should have sent and I would have got paid. But my gut was telling me one thing and I didn't want to do this. If you guys enjoyed this 20 minute video, let me know in the comments. I will see you guys next time when we finish the Skylark trunk up. Because we're working on that video right now. Dad's in there actually working on it. I've been busting away on the dart here and there. Getting ready to take that thing for its first test drive. Got to get this car gone first though. He's supposed to be coming this weekend. Hopefully he comes because I need paid. I need the title. That way I can see what I'm going to do. And let's hope he does because I'd like to have this out of my yard and paid. Been sitting here two weeks. I'm enjoying driving it, but not that much where I don't want to get paid. So see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Peace.